Hi everyone. I've been wanting to do this a long time, but now since the Super Bowl is two weeks away, I am uh, doing this video of football for foreigners. Um, I'm doing it in English because most people speak English and that way anyone can understand, not just uh, Americans or my friends in Argentina, etc. Uh, but big disclaimer, I'm covering about maybe 80 to 90 percent of the rules and things you should know. Uh, but I think that after this uh, tutorial, you'll be able to enjoy the, um, the Super Bowl, uh, which is two Sundays from today. And uh, so a little bit about how these two teams, the, uh, the Patriots from New England, winning the American Football Conference, uh, went to the, uh, how did they get to the Super Bowl? as well as the uh, NFC, National Football Conference, the Atlanta Falcons, how did they get there? Uh, typically, you, you play football between September and January, and, uh, and uh, there's, there's about 16 regular season games, and then there's uh, playoffs. The uh, regular season games uh, occur between divisions in both sides of the conferences, uh, four teams per division, uh, then top teams make playoffs and the winners of the playoffs uh, get to the Super Bowl. Typically, teams play each other uh, twice in the same division, uh, more, than le more often than not uh, with, with some teams across divisions and sometimes teams from across conferences, which was not the case uh, before. But anyway, um, so this is Super Bowl 51. And... Uh, uh, usually they show it in uh, Roman numerals, uh, so L-I, just like my, my, the first two letters in my, in my last name. Uh, so the Super Bowl is in Houston uh, in two weeks, and uh, we're all very excited. And hopefully by uh, you listening to this, you'll be able to pick up more. Um, typically, it's a pretty even event. Uh, sometimes when I first came to the States around the, in the 70s, the uh, NFC had big dominance with teams like Dallas and then later with, uh, with uh, the, uh, the, the 49ers. But now it's, it's pretty even. For, for some time, the Pittsburgh Steelers were very strong here in the AFC. But now New England, that really was not a big team till in 86, they, they went against the, the Chicago Bears. But lately, they've been really good. And, and right now, what's at stake is that the, super, the quarterback, Tom Brady, he's won four Super Bowls. And there's two other guys who've won four Super Bowls as well, Bradshaw and Montana. So this is his chance to make it to big-time um, history. So anyway, let's, um, let's talk about the rules of the game. All right, we're back. I changed my shirt because the joke was getting a little too old. Anyway, this is my rendition of what the uh, football field, not pitch, but field, uh, looks like. This is uh, field goals here. Uh, this is the 50-yard line, but uh, uh, this I'll talk about formations in, in a second, but uh, typically it's four quarters, uh, 12 minutes a quarter. Um, in the, at halftime, you have the big halftime show that a lot of people uh, want to uh, watch. Uh, people watch the Super Bowl because they like football or because sometimes the game is um, a bad game. So you watch commercials. A lot of first time commercials come out on Super Bowl day. And uh, and the other reason is just to eat and uh, and drink a lot. But it's a fun time. And um, and here we go. So the first thing I want to say, which is uh, really strange, is that most foreigners or at least I when I came here didn't know is that a team which is made up of about 47 players, uh, is made up of different teams. So typically, when this team plays against this team, it's the offense of this team made up of 11 players playing against the defense of this team that is made up of um, 11 players. And they, um, they have to win the right to be on the field, and I'll explain that in a second, but... Um, but then they, if they don't have that right, then they, then it's the other way around. The offense of this team, this eleven, another eleven guys, are gonna play against another eleven defense guys. And then there's special teams because there's special situations like kickoff returns or punt returns. So there's always exceptions, tons of exceptions in football. I'm just covering the the things you see uh, the most. But uh, in this lineup, let's assume that this team 
is um, the offense, and this team is the defense. And, and by the way, whoever has the most points obviously wins. You get points by uh, scoring a touchdown, which is sick. Uh, when you cross the end zone, this is the end zone. When you cross the end zone, any way you can, but if the ball is in your hands or, or you you uh, you uh, throw yourself and you, you go in there, uh, that's six points, and then you, you have the chance to have a one-point conversion. Sometimes you may need two points, which is very rare, but you could go for another uh, you know, typical play uh, where you can gain two points. So that's the touchdown. Again, it usually results in seven points. Um, you also have field goals. So field goals is when you don't think you're going to make a touchdown, you kick it, uh, and if it goes through the uprights, then it's three points. Uh, you have other situations, like you can have an interception where this team is in offense, and let's say these guys, they throw the ball, and one of these guys catches the ball and runs the ball back. Uh, I was going to say he or she, but typically it's he. They can uh, get a touchdown, and then they get a chance for uh, conversion. And very rare situations where if the team is stuck in their own end zone, they could lose two points as well. Um, so we have different teams going on, but typically you're going to be watching uh, the offense against the defense or their offense against their defense. Um, so the lineup, usually you have uh, these guys here, this is the offensive line. We call this the line of scrimmage, which moves through the game. The line of scrimmage, which is analogous to a scrum in rugby. But you got this, um, you got the linemen here. Usually these guys are usually big guys. Big, fat guys, as opposed to these guys who are big guys, but not as fat. Um, the quarterback, this guy is key. So that's where Tom Brady plays, for example. Uh, so the quarterback is the guy. They, they, you know, when a Super Bowl is won, usually they think of the, uh, of the quarterback. He's the Messi or the Maradona or the Pele or the Ronaldo, whatever. But he is the main guy in the, in the offense. And usually the running backs are very important too. These guys are usually uh, shorter guys, very stocky, that run and can run through people. Very, very strong, very fast, very fast. And then you have uh, linemen, um, sorry, wide receivers here, who are guys that are going to be like running out here and try to catch the ball if the quarterback decides to pass. The team usually uh, advances either by rushing so you're carrying the ball or by passing in which you're taking a bigger risk because you're you're throwing the ball and you're expecting this guy to catch the ball and gain territory that way. Um, so here let's talk about the defense. The defense has this this uh, defensive lineman who are usually uh, big like these guys, but they're more athletic because these guys have to push these guys away so that they can get to the quarterback and sack the quarterback. Their role in life is to not give the quarterback time to do anything. That's a good defense. Uh, whereas these guys, their role is to give the quarterback as much time as he has so that he can do whatever he wants to do. Um, then you have these middle linebackers who can cover deep or can come up depending on what they think the offense is going to do. Usually, if they think the offense is going to rush, they're going to run, they're going to come up. If they think the, the offense is going to pass, they're going to go back. So it depends where in the game you are and how many points the offense needs. And then you have these guys, this corner, corner, uh, the corner backs and the uh, safeties, and they are very athletic, and they're just as fast as these guys here. And uh, so those are usually the most athletic and, and faster guys in the game. Um, so uh, this is big. This is the most important part of the whole game. I think I should have started with this. Four downs. A down is another word for an opportunity. So like if the offense has the ball, they have four downs to, to advance 10 yards or at least 10 yards. So if they advance 10 yards, they get four downs more. So they could be, let's say they advance the ball five yards on the first down. Now it's second down and five to go. So depending on where in the game you are, the defense may think, you know, these guys are running out of, of, of space, of, of uh, real estate, so they need to pass to advance to make the first yard, uh, first down. Um, but uh, so it depends. So you have to keep always in mind which down they're in, and you will see that the offense will have will make three plays, first, second, and third down, and the fourth down, unless you're very close or unless you're at the end of the game, 
you're going to punt, which is you just give up. You just give you give the ball to the other team and the other ball uh the other team rushes back the ball and that's where they get that's where things I forget. So uh or I forgot. Uh there's uh a quarter has 12 minutes, but the um uh in between downs you have the quarterback has about 30 seconds in between downs. So you'll see that the team will huddle and then they will discuss what will be their play. Um What's really interesting about football, I think, is that the, the, the coach is almost more important than in any other sport. It's almost, football is a bit of a chess game between the two coaches, and they're all the chess pieces here. And depending on how the defense lines up, or depending on how the offense lines up, they may change uh, plays, uh, but what they do all week long before the game is they rehearse plays. And these plays are incredibly uh, complicated sometimes. And good teams are the ones who are so well coordinated that they know how these guys are going to make like almost like a channel so that the running back can like run through or they will fake that they're going to run, but they're going to pass or vice versa. But these guys, usually they don't have to be looking at the quarterback. They know they may count uh, 10 seconds and then make a right turn and expect the ball right there and a good quarterback and a good uh, wide receiver are so well coordinated that they're going to find each other. Same is true for the a good defense. A good defense knows how to read an offense, so they will intercept the ball or they will, will they will keep this from happening. Um, so uh, so once again, the, if it's very important that the four downs. You always want to know what down you're in, so you know uh, how you're running uh, how you're running your plays. Uh, but what I'm, uh, there is one big, big factor in football. Again, possibly more than in any, any other sport, that it becomes a player in itself, and that's the clock. When the, when the ball is, is in the field, if someone is running the ball, uh, you'll see that the clock is, is ticking, it's moving. So sometimes it benefits one, the team that's winning to, to let the, team, the, the, the clock run. Uh, whereas if... Uh, they throw the ball for a uh, for a catch, and this guy steps out and catches the ball out. If the ball is out, then the the clock stops. Uh, so it gives them a chance to line up and and gather their their wits, if you will. So uh, the the clock is very important, and and uh, typically it's more important at the end of the game because you know how much time you have, and depending on how much time, um, if this team is behind. Uh, you're gonna be, um, they're gonna be more and more likely to pass, which means that the defense is more likely to expect a pass. But then again, you can play all this kind of chess-like thinking that you may want them to think that you're gonna pass because by bringing the defense down here, then there's more room for the running backs to to carry the ball. But typically, running the ball, you gain uh, less yardage, but you take less risk. Whereas passing, you gain more yardage, but you take a lot more uh, risks. So I think I pretty much, um, I, I know I, I only drew here the 50 yard line, but th these guys are going to be moving uh, constantly. Uh, and, and always remember who's got the fourth down. So uh, the Super Bowls are really, can be really exciting, but there's also Super Bowls where uh, they're horrible and they're, you know, very lopsided and, uh, and one team will be winning by a lot of points, so it's almost impossible for the other team to catch up. Uh, in that case, stick around for the uh, halftime show. Usually, uh, they're very exciting, like you may see someone's nipple. Or um, check out the commercials, because they're the first time, and we've had famous commercials like uh, Microsoft launched a commercial around the 80s against IBM, where it was, it was very 1984-like type of setting, and it's a very famous commercial, so there's a lot of famous commercials, and, and, and sometimes Monday, Tuesday, people talk more about the commercials than about the game. Well, anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoy this. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting any obvious. I'm sure I'm forgetting big stuff, or some stuff, because there's so many exceptions, but this is pretty much it. Uh, and I'm from New England now, so of course I won the Patriots to win. Um, so um, thanks for watching.